In this video, we'll look at how to generate random alphanumeric strings in Oracle SQL. So you've probably got a need to generate some random text values in a database. This could be for setting up some test data, or to get some data into a table to test some queries that you're looking at. There's a way that you can do that in Oracle, using a built-in function called string. There's a built-in package called dbms random. This has a few functions for generating random data. Most of them deal with generating random numbers, but one of them works with text values, and that function is called string. The syntax of the function looks like this. It takes two parameters, a type and a length. The type is a type of character, and the length is, well, the length of the string. The type can be one of these five values here, either uppercase or lowercase. For example, the letter U means that the string function will generate an uppercase alphabet character. The letter L means that the output will be lowercase alphabet. A will return mixed case alphabet characters. X returns uppercase alphanumeric, so letters and numbers. And P will return any printable characters, so like exclamation marks and hash symbols. If you want a random length for your string, you can use the dbmsrandom.value function for the length parameter. Or you can just specify a fixed length. Let's take a look at some examples of all of this. Let's start by generating a simple random string. For the first parameter, I've entered in u, which means it will be an uppercase character. The length I've put in is 10. If I run this query, it generates some random characters here. If I run the exact same query again, the string is different. Every time I run the function, it generates a different string. Let's take a look at using a different parameter. We just looked at using U for uppercase characters. Now we'll use the letter L for lowercase alphabet characters. We've left the length at 10. We can see the output has shown all lowercase characters. And each time I run the function, the output will be different. The third example we'll look at is using the type of A, which will be mixed case, but all alphabet characters. We can see the output here shows a mixed case alphabet characters, some lowercase and some uppercase. The next example uses the type of P, which will show any printable characters. You can see this has a range of uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and even an ampersand symbol here. I can run it again, and this time it includes spaces, a comma, a bracket, and a colon. Finally, let's use the type of X, which is uppercase, alpha, and numeric. This example has used uppercase and numbers here. If I run it again, we can see it's all uppercase and alphanumeric. This is because the type of X will return that type of data. Now let's see all of these in a single function or in a single query. We're selecting five different instances of the string function, each with different type values and each of different lengths, just to see what it looks like. I've also given them different column aliases, so we can tell by looking at them what they refer to. Let's run this query. We can see what the output looks like here. It follows the same patterns or the same requirements as we just looked at. Uppercase, lowercase, mixed case, random printable characters, and uppercase alphanumeric. Each time I run this, it will generate a different combination of characters. So that's good to know. What if you wanted to generate a random length string? In our earlier examples, we've always put in the same value for each string that's generated. But what if we want the length to be random? We can use the value function, as we mentioned briefly earlier. In this example here, we're going to generate an uppercase alphanumeric random string here because we're using the X parameter. The second parameter is the length. Instead of putting in a, just a single value, we're going to use this dbmsrandom.value function. This will return a random value between the two parameters that we've specified. So it'll generate a random value each time we run the function. This will mean the string that gets generated will be between a length of five and a length of 20 for each time we run it. We can see the length here, which looks to be about 12 or 13. 
If we run it again, it's much longer. That could be 19 or 20 characters. I run it again, it's long still. This is also a long function. As you can see, each time I run it, the length of the string changes. So that's how you can use that function there to generate a random length string. Finally, we've got an example here that uses PLSQL code to generate multiple lines of different random strings. We're starting the block of code with begin. We're using dbmsoutput.putLine for our output. This will just output a line that says start the output. We're then going to start a loop. Our i is our iterator variable. We're going to start at 1 and finish at 10. So this will run it through 10 times. Each time the loop runs, this line will be called. It will call dbmsoutput.putLine and will output the variable of i, so the number of loop it is, as well as a random string, which is an uppercase string of 8 characters in length. To run this, I can click anywhere inside the begin and end block and click on the play button. Now the script output will say PLSQL procedure successfully completed. If you haven't done so already, we'll need to turn on dbms output, which is not on by default. I have another video for this, but what you can do is go to the view menu and select dbms output. By default, your dbms output will look like this. You'll need to add your connection to it. So click on plus, select your connection that you're currently using, and the output is shown here. Let's run that code again. We can see the output is shown here. We see the value of i, so each time the loop runs, and then a random length string here. There will be another video soon about generating a large amount of random data to put in your table. So if it's not already being linked here in this video, it will be soon. But that's how you can generate a random alphanumeric string for your database. If you enjoyed this video, Please subscribe to my channel by using the big subscribe button on the page to keep up to date with all the Oracle SQL videos that are released. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment as well.